Honorable Bobowina, do you have something to say? Thank you very much, Chairman. Uh, on this matter, I've really seen uh, Honorable Didmas making a thorough presentation on the alternative dispute resolution mechanisms, which involves the inclusion of elders in conflict resolution, which I do agree with that it is a very viable idea because our court system is so congested. However, there's only one point. In totality, I agree with it that this bill should pass. The reservation that I have because you've now invoked my legal uh, knowledge is that uh, in jurisprudence, there are different schools of thought. There is the natural school of thought, which says that law emanates from the Almighty, from a deity, from the Almighty God, and that law should have morality. And should we have these elders, and at times you know, Moshimiwa did must, how the elders behave, when it comes to conflict resolution, they may be biased, they may take a political angle, they may come up with unjust laws. And from the natural school of thought, it states clearly that law should be just, that an unjust law is not law, as was opined by St. Augustine of Hippo in that natural school of thought, and also St. Thomas Aquinas were the two proponents of the natural school of thought. Then moving very fast, uh, Moshimiwa Didmas, we have also the positivist. I want to marry these two so that we know where the society will move to. The positivist, as a, as a school of thought, states that Moshimiwa Kidogotu, the positivist school of thought, states clearly that law should be written law. And that is what now, at times, we use in our constitution and also in the courts. And also the courts can make laws through the realism. That the positivists argue that a law should just be written. And that there need not to be morality as part of a law. That law can exist without morality. Then we remember during Hitler's time, during the Holocaust, when the Nazi Germans were killing the Jew. During that period, it was correct. It was in written laws. The positivist, who is a Hart, HLA Hart professor, said clearly, just Moshimiwa, Moshimiwa, this point is very important and urgent because I don't want these elders to make wrong laws and just terminate people <laughs> unfairly. So please just hang on my lips. Thank you, Chairman. So HLA Hart, said that, you know, that there should be no relationship between law and morality. And therefore, he was supporting the idea that Hitler ought to have just killed the Jews because it was written laws. Then Professor Lon Fuller, not Professor, but Lon Fuller, during that debate of HLA Hart versus Lon Fuller, they were arguing. And Lon Fuller challenged Hart, chairman, he challenged Professor H.L.A. Art and said that, yes, it is written law that people ought to have been killed as per the German rules. But was it moral? Then that is, at that point, Hart changed his heart and said that, indeed, as much as it was written law, then the Jews ought not to have been killed. So what I'm trying to say is this. Most of these elders, you know, can be political. And you know me and you will be the first victims if we don't send them something because they can decide to make unfair laws or unjust laws. So my question is, which type of laws, as they resolve to alternative dispute resolution mechanism, will they be using? But the idea itself is a brilliant idea. Thank you. <laughs>